Hey, Warrior Women, I thought I would jump in here and talk to everybody right now about what are your plans for 2023? Do you have any plans for 2023? Uh, there's a saying that goes, you know, if you plan to fail, then you if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. And that is a very, very true saying. Even the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. So for those who read it, they can run. You have to have that plan. You have to keep it before your eyes so that you have a vision and you can run. It helps to launch you. It helps to propel you, to propel you. And, um, and, that's, and I'm not talking about New Year's resolutions here because those, as we all know, we've all done that. <laughs> and how effective are those? Not very. I'm not talking about that. And I pretty much see this year, for some reason, I see it as a year of mission. Not really a year of goal setting, but more of a, a year of mission, a year of purpose. Especially for those who in this last year, 2022, have been in training, who have been preparing themselves, who have been at Jesus' feet, who have been just filling themselves with knowledge and in preparation for what's coming in 2023. I really think in 2023, God is going to be opening doors for those people especially. But even if you have not been doing that, God is looking for his people. He's always looking for the people who are willing to give him his yes. And I know that that is you. His harvest is, is full and he needs his harvesters. So um, how do we go about this? The way that we do this is the best way, especially when we not want to know what God's plan is, is to sit with him. And we, so we take that time, we carve it out first thing in the morning, in the evenings, before we go to bed, and we sit with him quietly when we ask him and say several things. Um, one of them is specific, and you ask him to be specific with you. Uh, what is the purpose that he has for you? What is the mission that ha he has for you uh, in 2023? And take the time to listen. You, a lot of us, we do, we do a lot of this, yak, 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 but we don't ever, you know, keep our mouths shut long enough so that he can speak back to us. That's how we hear him, is we give him time to respond. And we sit there and we, we wait on him to respond. Um, so that's one thing. Ask what is what is the mission that he has for you in 2023? Another thing is, and he actually gave this to me this this last year. It's the first time he's done it, and I wasn't asking for it. So I'm suggesting that you do that as well. Um, is you um, sit before the Lord and you ask him, uh, does he have a scripture verse for you for 2023? Um, and what that verse is is it basically guides you throughout the year. Uh, for 2023, it's, it's kind of a verse to live by, and he'll give, he'll respond to you in that. Ask him if he has a word for you in 2023, like a specific word. We did this uh, exercise uh, last week, I think, with a group of women, with a group of my women, and one of the women's words was, if I remember correctly, it was determination. So, um, Something like those words along those lines. They are a guide, instruction for how to live your year in 2023. Um, and God will bless it. When we sit before his feet and we ask him and we, and we take time with him, he blesses, with, blesses us with a response. So we just have to take that time. It might not all happen in one setting. Um, you might need to do it, you know, a few times uh, in the next couple of weeks before 2023 begins. But we need to get prepared. And, and write it down. Ask, you know, you have, I'm sure there's desires on your heart. What are the desires on your heart? Write those things down, be specific. And then you keep those things in front of you. And then what you have to do is you have to put your foot in the water. I say this over and over and over again, but you know, God doesn't start opening the doors. He doesn't part the sea, you know, until you put your foot in the water. You have to move forward. He's waiting for us to do that. We are not waiting on him. He needs us to move. He needs his people to move. And so um, he's raising an army for 2023. And I know that you guys are part of it. But sit down and ask him what his plans are.
and uh, he will bless you with an answer. So, and also after you've taken time to do that, come back to tell me in the comments uh, what responses he gave you. I'm really excited to hear what that is. So I look forward to 2023. I know he's got a lot of blessings for each of us and I'll see you guys again soon.